talking about some of the Rockets players dyeing their hair blonde for the big playoff run. Earlier this week, Scott Parker did some hair cutting, not of his own, but of someone else's, it seemed. Someone bet Scott that he would not score 30 goals this year, and if he did, they would have to do some head shaving. So Scott got his 30, he keeps his hair, but Derek McKenzie from Gold's Gym, his hair is gonzo. You ready? <laughs> Derek McKenzie made a bet with Scott Parker and, like a man, paid up last night at Gold's Gym in front of a very amused crowd. What do you think about your boy getting a new hairdo here tonight? Oh, I think it's a good sport. <laughs> do you think it's going to suit him, though? Oh, yeah, that'll suit him. Will the girls still find him attractive? Probably more. <laughs> How long is it going to take for his hair to grow back? Several months. Several months, that's for sure. How or why did you get involved in this dare uh, or bet? At the beginning of the season, Scott scored three goals. I think in his first game against Camels, and he was on about scoring 30. So I said, well, you score 30 goals, I'll shave my head. If you don't score 30 goals, you shave your head. And that's how it started. Did you honestly think that he would even come close? Uh, I don't know. I, I thought he'd be around 25, 26, 20, you know. Parksy, that's some uh, terrific work. Uh, I don't know what to say. Hey, uh, well, I did it to myself in the Fedorik our first year, so I got a little experience in it, but uh, I was just glad I was, uh, you know, the, the, uh, the razor and the, uh, the scissor side than uh, sitting in the chair. Parker's hands are soft, but nobody said they were steady, and he's not bald today because he was able to pot 30 goals in a breakthrough season that has caught virtually everyone by surprise. Even two years ago, if you would ask anybody that was going to the games if I was going to get 30 goals, uh, you know, my third year into the league, that would have been like, you know, who are you kidding? But, uh, you know, just a lot of hard work and, uh, you know, my line is, I'm with Wader and Langer right now and they're uh, supporting me a lot and, uh, you know, I'm helping, out, helping them out as much as I can too. But, uh, you know, uh, 30 plus goals and 50 plus points, uh, you know, it is, has been a really good year for me. And with the awesome year Parker is having, there's a lot of talk that the New Jersey Devils draft pick may play in the pros next season but he has to sign first. Well, I'm hoping so. The deadline's, I guess, at the end of this month, so uh, hopefully we'll work a deal out uh, before then, and, uh, you know, hopefully I can move on.